So this is my presentation on Theo van Doisberg. He was uh, born in 1883. He was actually born Christian Cooper. He changed his name um, uh, to for after his stepfather, anyways, uh, who he admired, and uh, I think he added the van possibly because of Van Gogh. But uh, this is Tim, and I want to show you. This is the the typeface that he created. One of the things he did. It's very simple, but I think it's representative of kind of how he, um, well, of his style, which you'll see. So um, <clears throat> he started out doing caricature work. He actually started in in theater, but when he moved into art, he started doing these caricatures, and um, he, he you can see a progression he made. So he uh, he did these, and then he did this sort of impressionist um, style for a, a long while. Well, I shouldn't say a long while, but um, as he was going, here's a this is a self portrait. Um, we can see he he moved into some other. Some other styles here, more impression or uh, abstract. And then here's a, a study he did. So a study on a cow, and then then simplifying it down to these shapes. And uh, he he's part of a movement called the style, and it was really all about um, getting away from representation and. Uh, he had this philosophy that pure art really didn't, um, you know, wasn't representing something else or didn't mimic something, but it was just like internal design. Here's a, a simplification of some people, but you can see that he um, he moved into these things that didn't really represent anything. That of course does, but uh, he, he continued to do like he'd do other portraits and uh, monograms for people. But here's an example of just using um, lines and colors, and he did a lot with black and white in the primary colors. So there's a few other things he did. You can see as he moved on, he got to like just this sort of conceptual thing, uh, again, not representing anything. This is a monogram he did for someone. So here's a part of the process of, of how I got with uh, my final final posters. So this was our experiment. Uh, this was using markers, uh, more markers, and markers. Um, something else I did here. And these are just some of my sketches of, of different ideas along the way to get towards uh, the final posters. This is one I, I try to go from his Impressionist to abstract idea. Um, I'll talk about this one in a minute. So here's my finals. <clears throat> uh, this is the principles of scale and alignment. Um, and I, I don't know, this one came fairly easily, but uh, um, <clears throat> everything is just aligned and, and there's got some variances in scale and the different uh, um, type sizes and the ampersand and, and those type of things. But I, I, I like... I liked this one. I did it a couple different ways, and this is the, the clean version that I, I think turned out well and conveys things okay. Um, this next poster, which is the one that's supposed to be in his style, I had a lot of revisions of this. None of them have, have been perfect, but the idea was um, something that I'll, I'll talk about in the last poster too, but um, it's really so there's sort of an abstracted face within these shapes, um, and, and the idea is kind of like as I was going through studying him um, uh, and just looking at his art, you feel like you sort of get to know him. And I, I noticed that I'd be doing, I'd, I'd sketch something not based on a particular sketch of his. I'd sketch something, and then later on I'd find a new image that I hadn't seen before. And I'm like, this looks just like the thing I sketched, you know, at least conceptually, you know. I'm, I can't claim to be as good as he was, and but, but I'd be like, oh, I, you know, it felt like this will look like I was copying this other image, but I really just felt like you'd get to kind of know his style, and it was um, even though there's a lot more to his life than just his style. I felt like the more I looked at his work, the more I kind of would see him or or how he might think. And so uh, again, this was supposed to be in his style, and then my final poster, which is my take on him. Again, this had a lot of different versions, but I I um, 
the concept here was really back to that as I looked at his work, which is a lot of the you know straight lines, um, things at 90 degree angles, and, and sort of this block idea that I felt like as I looked at that, I, I kind of got to know him a little bit better. And so the, the concept here is you know, the blocks, but then as you look, you can see like, oh, you know, his his face is in there. There's there's the eye that's really clear, but then you can see some of his other, uh, the other facial details and stuff. And then I try to also incorporate those primary colors. There's uh, an overall yellow, and then the red and the blue, and then, of course, our blacks. And anyhow, uh, um, you know, for me, this was getting to see him as I looked into, looked into his work. So... That is my presentation, and um, that's Theo Van Doisberg in just a couple minutes.